All right, what's up, YouTube? Uh, we're gonna do um, a video on changing out static cover on here. This is a 04 Suzuki Hayabusa. Um, as you can see, uh, got a little rash on the static cover. All right. Uh, so we're gonna go ahead and go over how to uh, swap that out. All right. All right. Cool. Uh, first thing, you want to get your stuff together. You're going to need a uh, ratchet and socket set uh, to take off the static cover. Also, you know you're going to need your handy dandy uh, Allen wrenches to get the uh, fairing off. Take your uh, Allen wrenches to take your fairing off, right? Alright, I'm gonna grab my here's my Allen wrench. You're gonna also need some Allen wrenches for the magneto. Um I think that's how you say it, magneto. Anyway, the magnet inside your stator. Alright, so I also got a little pan here, a rigged up pan just in case a little oil comes out. Shouldn't be that much oil um stored in the stator. If your bike's cool, it should have uh, drained down more so into the uh, pan. But if sun does come out, got a little cover just in case. Don't want to get it on the garage floor. And also have uh, some oil to cap it, tap it, um, to fill it back up. Fill it back up. Whew. Tongue tied, man. Alright, so let's go ahead and um, get to it. Uh, first thing you want to do is take off your. I started already. Those are loose. I just hadn't took them off. Take off your um, fairing. Okay, you got bolts all along here. Like I said, I started already. Um, so go ahead and take those off, and um, we'll go from there. All right, back. We got the uh, cover off. All right, put my clips back in place. Uh, also, don't want to get to remind you guys about the. It's a bolt right here from the bottom. Uh, so, gonna have to get down there and get that one off as well. Alright, now, and when you get your, your fairing off, I just lay it down on something soft, man, so it doesn't scratch up the paint. Uh, right now. Time to get off the uh, static cover. These are eight mils. You got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I think it's eight. I'm not sure. Ah, anyhow, take those off, and um, once you get those off. It's a little tab right here to help you pry the cover off. Um, be advised, I want you to be, you know, be prepared. Once you get all the bolts off and you get ready to, you know, pull your cover off, the magnet inside, magneto, I guess that's what they call it. I'm not sure. Anyway, the magnet inside is going to be pulling the cover onto the casing. So it's going to feel like you got something hung on there, but it's not. You're going to have to give it a little pull, and you'll feel the magnet give once you get it so far away. All right? All right. Be careful. We got wires right there, too. Okay? So let's go ahead and get these uh, bolts off and get this magneto. I mean, not magneto, but this uh, stator off of here. All right? All right. All right. We got the uh, stator cover off, and... As you can see, it has uh, a little bit of um, build up right here uh, from the old gasket, which is, you know, expected. And also be prepared if it's your first time taking it off. And uh, like I said, this is an old four, so this is a um, older model. Um, so it's it's been on here for a while. Be prepared for a little bit of resistance. Okay, all right. Now, um, some other things I want to show you. It's real important that you go ahead, get you some um, some pliers, 
and you see on the stator there's dials right here one on this side and one on the upside right over there you see it I'm pointing to it take those off and you have to put them back on here okay this is real important man um, because if you don't put those back man it'll interfere with how the stator aligns and you know how your bike's gonna run it could potentially not allow your bike to start alright so be sure that you go ahead and take those pins out those dial pins out and put them in put them back on the casing and once you get them back on the casing man um, get a little hammer uh, you know just just tap them into place you don't have to beat them beat them to death you just want to make sure they bottom out inside there okay you want to you know, tap them into place real good and um, once you do that clear off all this gunk um, old gasket and whatnot from your uh, casing get it as clean as you can and um, we're gonna go into removing the removing the um stator yep there it is we're gonna go ahead to um I'll just do a blank man I'm just going blank right now <laughs> anyhow we're gonna go ahead and um, once you get that stuff cleaned off I'm um, gonna go ahead and remove the stator out in the cup out from in the cover and put it into a new cover and get it hooked up all right so let's go ahead and clean this off and um I'll show you how to remove the stator all right all right uh now we're going to remove the the actual stator out of the cover and to do that you got one two three four five five bolts five yeah five bolts to get to um, remove um, now this is gonna be um, two different size Allen's okay um, one of them is gonna be a five and I think the other one's gonna be a four uh, mil anyway you're gonna have to um, remove uh, these five bolts and move the Strata Magneto over to the new cover, and I got a new uh, new chrome cover for it. Anyhow, now be careful because these bolts will strip. All right, and hopefully, um, you can you should be able to remove them um, with a little bit of little bit of um, force now if you're not able to turn them if you're not able to turn them uh, it's a couple things you can do uh, you can try heat heating it up because these bolts when you get ready to put them back in you're gonna have to put some um, Loctite on these and if the previous person that had the bike or if this is a new bike um, uh, it could be locked down pretty good if they and if it is a previous used bike and if they did use uh the wrong type lot type you're definitely gonna need some heat to get that off alright so uh, remove these bolts and transpose your magneto to your new one and when we get to that step I'll show you how to line it up and put it in alright guys uh we got the bolts out one two three four four five and uh, here we are we got the new cover right next to the old cover uh, one thing you want to do with the new cover is give it a quick once over make sure you don't have any pieces of plastic or anything like that still um, stuck in the cover and give it like a little wipe out with a shock cloth make sure you get as much uh, debris or anything like that out of there as you can uh, so that way you know less things to worry about inside the cover all right now uh, what we're gonna do get your bolts the ones that came out of here and you want to clean them off before you put them um, in your new cover and I dip them in some kerosene you know just to you know get them cleaned off and uh, once you get them cleaned off as best you can 
Um, if you don't have kerosene or anything like that, man, you can use um, a brake cleaner or any kind of solvent like that to get them cleaned up as best as possible. Um, reason being, uh, you want to, you're going to have to put Loctite on these, okay, to get the, uh, once you put it in the new cover, alright, because you do not want these three bolts that hold your Magneto, the Strata itself, in place to come out. You don't want them to back out at all, alright, and the type Loctite you want to use is the blue medium, medium Loctite, do not use the red Loctite, okay. We're going to use the medium lot type. Alright, so let those soak for a uh, few minutes. Get all the oils and stuff off of them. Alright, now we come back over here to the Magneto. I got tools everywhere, man. Alright, now looking at I'm going to look, show you the new cover. And on the new cover is a notch right there. Okay. Alright. On the back side of your magneto. Alright. See that? That fits in the notch. <laughs> Alright. Make sure you line that up with your notch. <laughs> okay? Alright, so uh this is pretty simple, man. Just take from here, put it in there. Here, there rubber grommet. Uh, if you want to put some silicone right there, you can. Uh, but if your grommet is in good shape and clean, let's take a look at it. Uh, it's pretty good. Pretty good shape right there. It's not dry. It's not damaged or cracked or anything like that. So we should be good. And besides, uh, the majority of the oil is at the bottom. Um, you have a little bit that's flung around inside the the cover but this is going to be at the top so you know if you want to put some silicone there for your piece of mind go ahead but it's not you know urgent or necessary completely all right now uh, let's go ahead and get this cover i mean the strata into the new cover 